Hey guys, welcome back. Till now I was uh, talking about uh, uh, fixed point uh, multiplication, but in this video I will talk about fixed point uh, addition. Okay, so let me take an example of uh, addition of two numbers, which is 0.2 and 0.2. So the result uh, should be 0.4, right? So uh, going by the range of numbers, uh, I can represent these inputs in Q1.0.15 format. Even in the previous video I was talking that uh, it is always better to go for Q1.0.15 uh, compared to the algorithms of uh, of uh, this uh, wireless communications okay so when i do this uh, output also lies in the range of uh, uh, q format uh, 15 so i can keep uh, the same q format no problem here uh, so this is what is the expectation in most of the cases but let me take an, another example let's say 0, 0 0.55 plus 0 0.5 in this case the result is 1.05 right so is it lying in the range of Q15? No, right? The maximum value is plus 0 0.999. So then in this case, there is a bit growth, okay? Uh, but um, but here, what is the requirement? When there is a, when it is passing the maximum value, then we should be doing saturation, right? So in this case, uh, even if we do saturation, uh, I would say the loss is not that much uh, problematic. Uh, you should analyze whether this loss is okay or not in which case um, it is always better to avoid such a kind of saturation and such a kind of loss so uh, it is uh, better that uh, we have to change the q format okay otherwise you have to implement the saturation logic or otherwise you have to store the result in uh, uh, suitable format uh, so in this case the q14 would be uh, sufficient to store the result so another thing is how to actually you know figure out uh, what should be the output format yeah of course we are uh, dealing with uh, q15 right you take the two maximum numbers add it you will get the number okay uh, that number uh, you see in which format it can be uh, uh, it can be made fit so i think uh, q14 is the right one right so when you add two numbers there is there is a chance that there is a one bit growth Okay, so to move from Q14 to 15, you need to do one extra operation. Okay, so that is uh, uh, the result should be right shifted by one, which means uh, you have to divide by, uh, you know, you have to divide by two so that, uh, uh, you know, the final result can be stored in Q14. So considering this, these examples and these steps, so we can uh, come up with, uh, uh, you know, the steps. Okay, so I have taken an example uh, of 0 0.5, 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 so that the result is 1.6. I have taken this so that uh, there is a bit growth and we can implement uh, the required logic. The first step is flow to fixed conversion and this is the uh, equation. So right now I am taking the, these inputs in Q100.15. So considering that I am not going to uh, lose the um, information, I want to store this in Q1.1.14. So, when I convert this number uh, into fixed point, I get to 26215. So, note that it didn't become 26215. Uh, so, that uh, you know, there is always uh, there is already a loss here. So, maybe in the result, uh, this loss will be propagated. Let us see at the end. So, now I will add uh, uh, A and B and I will store it in 32 bit C. So, the number is 52428. All right. This is not a. This will not fit in 16 bit, right? This is already extending as I was telling. This is a bit growth. So to to uh, fit in uh, in 16 bit, what I have to do? I have to do you know uh, right shift by one. So then my uh, result C will become uh, uh, 26214. So okay, this is still in in 32 underscore T. All right. So this is one extra logic which we need to implement and this will also ensure that you know the final result can be stored in Q1.1.14. Okay. Now comes the saturation logic. <clears throat> so if C is greater than this number, then you can uh, uh, you know saturate it to uh, the maximum value. Else if uh, I have to see in the negative direction as well, right? Uh, you can you can you know um, saturate it to the highest negative value. Mm, then if not then the result uh, uh, you know the the c you type cross fit in 16 and store it in result so what will be there in the result in the result i will have this one and it is a q14 format okay 
So if I convert back to float and if I want to check whether my result is correct or not, since it is a Q14 format, I need to divide by 2 to the power of 14. Um, then in which case I will get 1.599, which is pretty much close to 1.6. Okay. So as I was telling uh, in the input itself, there was a small loss. So, so here also we see uh, a little bit uh, loss. Okay. Otherwise, it is very much close to 1.6. This is okay. And uh, and we didn't uh, choose the saturation operation and uh, we didn't choose to keep it in the same Q format. Okay, all right. Um, so I think uh, things are clear here. Now, uh, the question is, as I was talking in the previous video, it is always to go for Q1.0.15 format, right? There are plenty of advantages, that's what I was telling, especially for communication and signal processing algorithms. But in this case, uh, we are seeing that when you had uh, two uh, Q15 formats, uh, we have to store the result in Q14. But is there an alternative uh, to still retain in Q15? Yes. So in, the, in which case, uh, let's say you are uh, adding uh, two numbers, then try to ensure that those two numbers are less than 0 0.5. Okay. So let's say uh, 0 0.4 and uh, uh, let's say 0 0.5. So this becomes 0 0.9. Still, this is less than uh, the maximum value, right? So this can fit in Q15 format and hence you can store result in Q15 format. So try to deal the numbers. So try to store the numbers. Um, I would say it's still, uh, these are pretty much high. Uh, you can say, you know, somewhere around 0.2 to 0 0.25. Okay. So I'm not exactly calculating the fixed point numbers. Let's say somewhere around 6,000 to uh, 8,000. So if you store, if you have the uh, numbers uh, of uh, of these ranges, then it is pretty much easy to perform the calculations and retain the same key format. Okay, so let's say I have 0 0.2. Even if I add 0 0.2 numbers four times, okay, still I will get uh, the answer plus 0 0.8. Still, I can store my result in Q15. So that's why I'm just telling that in case if it is possible for you to deal with the numbers which are which are in this range, okay, in this range, that would be good. So that you can still operate in the same Q format. But, uh, you know, there are certain cases. Um, okay, I'll tell about one more uh, uh, thing, uh, you know, why we can um, store such uh, low numbers. The thing is, in many signal processing communication algorithms, we have power. Uh, we are going to take average, convolution, correlation, complex, uh, multiplication, and things like that, right? So usually, you know, it is it is that uh, the multiplication and addition uh, comes together most of the times. Even in average, let's say if you are doing, uh, you know, one by four, you can convert it into multiplication of uh, zero point two five, right? This number. So there is a multiplication and. Uh, uh, and when you are going to multiply two numbers, let's say even though 0 0.4, 0 0.4, this number will become 0 0.16, right? After that, if you perform addition 0 0.16 plus 0 0.16, then definitely you will see that, uh, you know, 0 0.32, it is well within the range of Q15 format. So whenever, the, whenever you see operations like this, first try to do the multiplication operation so that uh, the numbers are uh, pretty much low, then if, even if you do uh, addition then it is not uh, uh, having a big growth and hence you can retain the same key format i hope you got the concept of this so that it is easy for you to write the code um, okay so the, the other thing is in some cases it is possible that even though how much ever you try it is not possible to maintain the same key format to definitely you have to go for a different key format let's say q1.1.14 and things like that but um, you might have considered the other key formats, uh, I mean, other inputs in Q format Q1.0.15. Uh, when you're dealing with different Q formats, how to do addition? So the, these kind of things, let us see in the uh, next uh, video. Uh, for now, I will wind up. Thank you very much. If you're looking for more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.